Yo, what is up, gamers? Here on Seller One with no curses today, feeling grand as ever. Gonna hit up a little bit of that dead god progression today. Playing Tainted Samson, we gotta go either up or down. Now, for those of you in the know, you'll know that a lot of my stats have uh, kind of been erased, and getting third dead god has been a little bit of a hassle. But I wanted to genuinely make this video to thank you guys and the community and everyone in general for helping me out because something grand. Has happened first of all what's in the treasure room we got sad onion this feels absolutely thematic as hell going for dead god and now we have the first ever item conceived in isaac history because from down here anything ah just some money i'll take it i'll even open up the golden chest that's right i'm going gamble mode guys <laughs> with a world card don't mind if i do so what's been happening i lost a lot of my statistics and a lot of my post-it marks which was absurdly hard to deal with when trying to get third dead god because in order for me to get third dead god I would have to cross-reference every single secret that I had and then been like oh I don't have that post-it mark okay we gotta do this now or I would wonder about a character scroll all the way through the entire secrets list which uh, takes like 15 seconds by the way check it find out that I do have that secret and I'd be like well I gotta check if I have something <laughs> something else to do because I'm not doing that again it was rough however thank you for the virus you guys are so unbelievably goaded and supportive because a lot of you came up with different solutions for me now not all of them worked to be fair and i will get into that but i just wanted to say thank you for really trying your best to help me and making my life easier so i don't have to scroll through the secrets page every single time i feel like i want to do a dead god mark <laughs> Give me this bomba. Nice. We get a scent back as well. Let's check out the shop. I'm down to clown. Hello, King Baby. I am I'm going to leave this alone, to be honest with you. I do want to see if this uh, small rock will show up or a soul heart. I'll take that as well. Secret room. Nice. We got a world card for the next floor. And uh, I'm probably just going to blow up all of these mushrooms because it's way too addicting not to do. Oh, my God. The perfect bomb to ever exist. The bomb that could do it all. Holy, that's a horse pill. Was down here. Eco coli definitely not incredible but the crawl space showing up is and that's what made this e coli special in my heart all right guys let's finally do it we're taking drugs health up oh that is wondrous now i'm gonna get like the big health down pill I sure did! <laughs> okay, well with that, we'll take the Rotten Heart, the Soul Heart, and demolish whatever this uh, Cellar 1 boss is. It's just the haunt. With Tainted Samson's Rage mechanic in hand, you're gonna stand no chance. Actually, that being said, you might be a little bit too far. Oh no, I can hit you. We're good. Alright, cool stuff. Speed up. Uh, let's just go regular today. Yeah, so a bunch of people hit me up and they were like, here is how you fix your save file. Now, I feel like I established in the video where I was like, guys, my save file is dead. That I <laughs> did not have the ability to do a lot of your guys' solutions. I needed to establish, maybe a little bit better, that I do not have my save file back. Like, I don't have a backup to plug in. Wow, this is a crazy rage mode, by the way. I am just <laughs> demolishing the entire floor. <laughs> Let me, let me just take care of Monster real quick. Tainted Samson moment, for real, for real. This character stays broken. Do I want to go Devils? I'll definitely uh, think about it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. And I am... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do it. Wow, what a renderous devil. What the hell is this? Hello? I kind of just want to take it all. It's gonna be a little bit rough, but I'll survive. Dark Bone will give me a health regen. False PhD will give me health regen. Honestly, yeah, let's lock it in. Oh, wait, hold on. I might have done this wrong. Lamal. Uh, we can do this. It's cool. Wait, give me a give me a heart. Ah, no, nah, it's not gonna work. Okay. Well, if this stays open, we'll take Dark Bum, but Dark Bum isn't that essential, whatever. Yeah, so everyone was like, here, you do this step-by-step -step process in order to replace your save file with your old backup, and then you'll be good, dude. And I was trying to say that I literally don't have a backup anymore. <laughs> I understand what you're trying to say. I've gone and replaced my save file before because of Isaac Online corrupting everyone's save file. I would say I'm basically an expert at it. I know how to do it. But when you don't have a save file to take from, that's not exactly a solution. Then again, still very appreciated that a lot of you went out of your way to even type a comment to, to try and help me, you know? Now, a couple of mega smart gamers out there also hit me up and came up with the wondrous idea, as well as my girlfriend. She was actually the first one to say this. Shoutouts to her. Super smart. We went to my Steam Deck, which had an old file on, because the main problem is that I don't have a save file to take from. Instead, we take from the Steam Deck file, which I have not touched in a long time. <laughs> and from there, I can grab 
have a relatively old save and then we can plug it in and see what happens and that's exactly what we did treasure room again scooper hey you know what an active item is an active item i'm gonna plop open one of these just because i'm curious i need a trinket we are just maximizing we got pickups we got trinkets we got actives everything is looking good uh, another curse room just to be sure i got that full clear going nice and then finally a shop greetings gamer oh wow that is wonderful what if i did like the mega play <laughs> and i bought the coupon and i used the coupon to gamble the 50 50 on black candle this sounds so stupid but it's way more fun i want to die please out of nowhere give me 13 cents for absolutely no reason i want I, this is it's over for me just don't be a tears down Okay, I'll take that. Hell yeah, bunch of damage. I don't even need to have no curses. I'm I'm gaming today, okay? Curses add challenge. I want the challenge. Well, who am I kidding? Please give me give me money. Please. Okay, it's not gonna happen. Well, this could give me a bomb. Okay, and then I look for the secret room. Two cents randomly, and out of nowhere, for no reason whatsoever, I managed to pull my ass out of the situation I put myself in. Is gonna be a gamble. <laughs> Okay, well, I hate it here. So what we did was real simple. We turned on the Steam Deck, which I have not booted up for a long time because I don't go outside. I play Binding of Isaac every single day. <laughs> And I love it. And as we booted up the Steam Deck, we quickly turned off the Wi-Fi so the Steam Cloud could not, you know, go into its whole thing and update Isaac to whatever random uh, corrupted save file I had. Then we went out of our way to go to desktop mode and try and find the save file in a Steam Deck version, which is kind of complicated to do for some reason. I don't know why they made it like that, but I found it after searching on Reddit moment for a hot minute. And a couple of cables here, a couple of cables there, because for some reason, you can't just plug in your Steam Deck to the PC. You need to plug it into an external hard drive and then plug the external hard drive into the PC. I don't know why that's a thing. I couldn't get the Wi-Fi transfer to work, so I had to do it hardware-wise. We got the save file. It was there. It's wonderful. And we plugged it in, and lo and behold, it's, uh, it's still a little bit messed up. <laughs> To be fair, I mean, it, here's the thing. It's a lot better than what I had before. It has some of my stats, some of my deaths, some of my mom kills. The memories are still there. It's a little old. You know, it's like uh, only a couple months after Repentance even really came out because that's when I was playing on my Steam Deck for fun. But the general idea is that those uh, extra eight plus whatever years are there. They're there and I'm happy about it. But I did not plug it in. And the reason why is because I considered this a, a little a bit of a, a new awakening for me just knowing i have the save file on hand at, at any point i could plug it in whenever i want just to see what it was like looking at my old stats that made me happy that gave me peace inside so that was wonderful news it still made me a little bit sad you know that there's a a bit of time that was not recorded but all in all even then i could go back to old steam cloud saves that were on afterbirth plus and i could access those old stats whenever i want i'm i'm happy with my life i've accepted accepted it and I, I'm honestly feeling like I'm moving on. I'm, I'm happy about it. Then we had the issue of uh, the post-it marks. Now you can press Alt F2 on the secrets page and you'll sync up your in-game progress to whatever your Steam achievements are. I could not do this for my third file, obviously, because then I would just give myself third dead god like that. So it's <laughs> not really a solution there. It was more along the lines that the visual post-it marks were messed up. And as I'm talking here, I'm realizing I've been given absolutely zero keys for the entire run. So I gotta look for my secret room. I got it. Please be nice to me. Oh, you're actually so mean. <laughs> What do I what do I do in this situation? Are you kidding me? I got no keys, I got no nothing. This imp room drop better drop a key or I am going to lose it. Please. Wow. Okay. Uh, Guppy's Tail moment. Maybe I become the ultimate gamer and just figure out where the super secret room is. Or I could be smarter uh, and get a regular beggar. There you go. And you're going to pay out with some keys. Okay, well, okay, nice. Hey, no rigging today, guys. We are just talking. We are gamer getting dead god. Sometimes in Isaac, you really do get boned over. That's okay. That's part of the fun. The super secret, please. Nice. And techie beggar. <laughs> you are on some wild stuff right now. Comedic genius game. How freaking dare you? Please drop some keys. This is absolutely the worst. I gotta go planetariums. Do I even have planetariums unlocked on this file? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Oh, but a fallen fight? Don't mind if I do. Let me just go rage mode real quick and uh, hit you very hard with my donkey's jawbone. We got Sister Meg. That's cool. And then we can coupon whatever's in here. God in heaven, please give me the backstabber. Oh, 
Would it be wrong for me to say that I want to pay one heart? <laughs> I'd do anything for Backstabber right now, including making it so that I might die. All I need is a pill. That could change my life. It's looking kind of dire. Very rough with the pickups. Uh, let, let's just move on. We're, we're gonna be okay, guys. Anyway, yeah, you can do all these shenanigans in order to regain your progress in case you lose it, but it doesn't actually fix the post-it marks themselves. And that was the big issue when trying to solve a third dead god, because I needed to figure out what I had done and what I had not done. <laughs> but members of my Discord community came together, and someone posted in the content suggestions channel, hey, there's this mod that actually very recently came out that goes ahead and it checks what secrets that you have and it applies the post-it marks accordingly to what you have in game. And I tried it out and it works. It's not perfect, but it's really close. Like it's good. Boss challenge, blood clot. I'm scared for my life. I really need a pickup that is a key, please. I don't want to run around while talking this much on one HP. I'm feeling like tainted loss currently. For my first file, it worked damn near perfectly. Like everything is just good. All my post-it marks are back. It recognized I had dead god. It gave me dead god back. Uh, for my second file, it basically worked all the way for some reason. Uh, some post-it marks, especially on the tainteds, were like, wow, you've never even beaten it lives, which makes absolutely no sense, but whatever. And for my third file, it seems to have worked pretty accordingly. I'm able to tell what I had done and what I had not done, and I, it feels incredible. I feel like I can finally like progress properly and really work through things. So not only thanks to, of course, the people that suggested I use this mod, but the person that created the mod in the first place you are so unbelievably goaded thank you gamer this has to be some crazy prank because i don't think i've ever gone this long without a key by the way what is happening here now the way i'm gonna handle dead god is probably still gonna be the exact same thing that i, I said i was gonna do before which is like eh, whatever who cares about the challenges who cares about green mode i already did basically all the regular characters 10 times over by now i'm just gonna handle the tainted characters and once i have them i'll try my best to figure out what i have not picked up what i have even though that's that's gonna be kind of weird and that'll be my dead god and we can celebrate i can finally get infinity percent because this thing has been gone for way too long and I want it. But that's honestly just to say thank you guys so much for helping me out and really going out of your way to try and fix things for me. Honestly, like all of you go off, man. I appreciate it. And just like that, at the very end of our rope, we are finally rewarded with a key. It is almost poetic. Where do we want to plop this thing? Probably the shop? I, I don't know, dude. At this rate, I am entirely unsure. Divorce papers. I'm saved. Thank you. All right. Bone heart in. Let's go left, grab this key. Yeah, with the amount of money I have and the coupon, shop seems like the proper play here because it could have a key. It most certainly does not, but it got Mr. Me and Mr. Me might be what I need. I could take high of mine. Mr. Me can open doors. So let's take it and open the treasure room. I kind of just want to take it with a bit of thought included. Mr. Me kind of seems like just a better coupon. No, it does what coupon can do but also can open doors because his head is a key. Thank you. What was in here? Sissy long legs. Uh, a little bit of a disappointment, but not too much. I'm happy to see you. I love you too. Can't go in the boss challenge room anymore. I was too terrified to go in there in the first place. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh! oh my god, no, please don't do this to me. This is like the most I've ever been trolled in so long. No, 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 no. I, guys, guys, guys. <laughs> Would it be catastrophic if I gave myself a soul heart right now? I am just wondering. <laughs> Only because the content is funnier if I'm truly punished by absolute luck and I cannot receive brimstone, will I not take it? At the end of the day, the content above all, that's how I see it. But man, that burns. We got contract from below though, yippee, woohoo. <laughs> I am getting my ass blasted today, but that's just how it's gonna have to be. I just realized you can actually go in here with Mr. Me. So we do get to have the boss challenge room. Very nice, we'll go in here, fight whoever, I'm sure we'll be okay. Okay. Also, kind of a reason I don't care about Brimstone too much is this is a tainted Samson run. The whole point of him is that he whacks people really fast. If we're gonna do the thing where we just get Brimstone and that's the entire run, it's gonna take away from tainted Samson himself. Let's not do that. But I will say this does increase the chance of Brimstone showing up in the thumbnail by at least 33%. <laughs> wow. 
Nice, love this room. Host in both corners, one of them is a champion that is camouflaged and walking. The other one is a host that heals other hosts. Oh yeah, Edmund was going off when he designed this room. Now what is possibly in here? A solar. Hey, we are slowly regaining our health. That is wonderful for us. I do love that. We're gonna need it moving forward. Uh, our damage is not incredible, but you don't need incredible damage as Tainted Samson. I would just say you need more uh, HP than anything. He kind of has the damage thing covered. $3 bill. This will make me explode and die, so we're doing it. And moving, bot. It's kind of useless today, so we'll take the soul heart and start restocking. On sale, steam sale. What kind of crazy world are we living in for that to happen? Appreciate the soul heart. Uh, let's go again. Diplo. Oh, I sure am a fan of Diplopia. How about we take you? Take the broken modem. If we find something good, we'll diplo it because I might not have enough money. Or we'll just take it with us because Mr. Me has done its job. Uh, uh, hmm. Habit? Yeah, habit. It's better than smelting Liberty Cap. What's Liberty Cap gonna do for us? Okay, things are looking really good now. Well, this full clear basically had nothing for me. So let's go Bows. Defeat Reap Creep. Should be easy enough. I just need to activate Rage one time and I see no way this guy lives. Crazy thing about Tainted Samson is that you get more Rage the more damage you do. So it just becomes easier and easier as time goes along to play the character. It doesn't even get harder. It's actually just way easier. <laughs> Goodbye Reap Creepian. Hello. Hello, booster pack. Ace of clubs, uh, two of clubs. Okay, I'll just take the two of clubs. We got a justice, a temperance, and a hanged man, which I don't really need either. Take the Vegas with us and get Sanguine Bond. Sanguine's okay, but I, I don't know if it's really like worth the take here. It's really good, but I, I don't have the health necessary to just be like willy nilly like that. I'm gonna leave Mr. B behind, or... I mean, that devil room did stay open. There's also another chance that it closes by the time I leave, but just for min max sake, what if it mega stays open? And I, I don't have a battery for this, never mind. I thought I could steal it with Mr. B. <laughs> never a D-mind. Instead, I blow up the shop one last time, I get a mystery gift, and then I'm gonna pop open a rock bottom for no reason. Here we go! First secret room item. Cracked orb. It's cool. Second secret room item. It's also really cool. I love this for us. The run feels like all it really needs is a little bit of chaos and that lands us gimpy. Yes, I'm in dude. We got ourselves a curse on this floor. Nope, we'll keep the day gods going forward. We still have planetarium chance has not paid out. Also another reason why it's so important for us to full clear at least all the way up into the womb because wombs cannot spawn planetariums unless you have the telescope a lens shrink it. Now with a little bit of chaos in our minds and hearts, I think, dude, why are there so many beggars? <laughs> I think that we are going to have a very fun time coming up, especially once we hit chest, dark room, these types of places and we really start going off just landing as many items as possible. They're all chaos. I, I'm gonna start digging into the angel pool for all I know. I could definitely see some mega items in our future. That might have just been the play we needed. The secret room double mystery gift play. Also, we're getting a ton of chests because of Guppy's tail contract from below. None of them are really paying out as much as I want with keys back. <laughs> but hey, that's the price you pay. I'll just gotta uh, amend myself. Not use too many keys until we get all the way to the dark room. I'm probably gonna go dark room not chat oh! what did i say i said angel room items that are good are gonna show up and what happens in the binding of isaac exactly what i foretold also even more beggars <laughs> yeah i probably go dark room not chest because we're missing out on keys a bunch that'll at least save us four in the starting room shop hello what the hell dad's keys cool gives us mega satan access but mr me already kind of does that and i already have a mega satan kill so i don't care about it too much we're doing unlocks today guys that's the only thing that matters no fun allowed here only real gamers no jokes no japes no joshing more keys is appreciated i don't care about this regular chest too much we know where our secret room is i think due to cracked orb that's nice let's just clear it out do we get a planetarium i cannot believe it it was so important for us to full clear but honestly even i didn't believe that it would really happen boy am i glad it did though less so though because i have chaos oh 
hold on. We might just be cooking. You can't turn a bone heart into soul hearts, but 2-3 Guppy is really good. And with chaos, Guppy always seems to show up, it feels. So we might be able to land that. And that is our actual win con. Once Guppy is a part of your run, I don't see any way that you can really lose. Super secret. Ah, a beggar. I don't have that much use for you, do I? I, I guess I'll just pay you off because why not? And then we'll go. No sack room on this floor, but we got to keep an eye out for future ones due to away from being so incredibly broken. We can now take advantage of every single one that shows up. They're not going to be effective for angel rooms because of the whole chaos factor, but they are going to be good in general. Still going to be extra items no matter what. Good by mom and I want to go down today. Immediately, I feel like we pick things up. This is great. Woom uno. Let's go left first because it's a big room and I'm confident enough in my run to handle a big room and big rooms cover more distance, more map, so maybe I can make it out of this whole uh, womb area a lot faster. That or I'm incorrect. Oh, it's looking okay. Peekaboo. Oh, no. But Sakuru, we were just talking about you. Not behind your back or anything, I swear. I was just I was just mentioning you, okay? Here we go, Sakuru time. You gonna TP me? Oh, hello. Oh, man. This is such a chaos moment. I, uh, I guess chemical peel. All right. And then angel room item. No, no dice. That's okay. If we manage to find a cracked key, we'll be able to crack open that ultra secret room because of the cracked orb. That is unbelievably crazy. Racked. Uh, but as it stands, I think the main course of action I'll take is just go straight down to the super secret room and the boss. I was watching a, uh, a video, I think it was from Watch Mojo, because it was it was like top 30 most difficult games of all time. And the reason I was watching it is because Kony was watching it, and uh, Kony is a variety streamer of the sorts, who is on my team for the Tekken tournament, an absolutely goaded creator. And I saw the video before he watched it, so I could see what games he would eventually like, you know, variety react to and i saw they put meat boy on that so for me i was just sitting there like meat boy mentioned yes let's freaking go dude but no other edmund games were up there and i was thinking to myself wait do we really consider meat boy the hardest game edmund has made I get that culturally it's kind of widely accepted but i i genuinely think isaac is harder <laughs> Then again, I've never really gotten all the achievements for Meat Boy. Those deathless achievements go crazy. So maybe in that way, uh, Isaac is easier than Meat Boy. But here's my counter argument. I know it's not as popular as Meat Boy, but genuinely, The End Is Nigh is the hardest game Edmund has ever put out. And if you don't believe me, try getting every single achievement in that game. I still have never done it, and I probably never will. <laughs> You gotta be undeniable mega levels of gamer to handle that thing. Yeah, I know, it's it's uh, blasphemous to say, but the end is nigh in my opinion genuinely way harder than whatever Meat Boy can provide. In terms of general 100%, I'm not even talking about like the 8-bit cards or the extras or whatever. I had a way easier time 100%ing Meat Boy with bandages than I did with End is Night and all the tumors. We got Book of Shadows here, which is pretty sick. I kind of want to take it because I don't care about Mega Satan for Mr. Me anymore, and Book of Shadows will give us invincibility. This is what I care about the most on the run right now, just not dying. Alright, well let's pop- oh my- Freaking goodness. <laughs> I have been so troll today. I was going to say it out loud and then pop the book of shadows. I guess I should have just shut my mouth, stop yap, and just do the thing. How could I have possibly predicted the most random fire mine and to explode? I don't I don't know, dude. You got me. <laughs> Great thing about Invincibility and Tainted Samson as well is that once you pop it, you don't have to be worried about contact damage anymore. You can really get up in all the enemies' grill and just whack them as hard as possible. Even right now, I'm a bit afraid I don't want to take contact damage. This is the worst room ever known to man, but we are okay. Well, a Book of Shadows available, we don't have to worry about that even a little bit. Am I really choosing the correct direction right now? Oh my god, I did- that was awesome! A absolute one-shot, immediate troll moment. I love to see it. We'll probably get another rage mode right away, and then from here on out, I'll do exactly what I said, pop Book of Shadows, walk directly into you, and then you'll die relatively quickly, because even without rage mode, I, I feel like I got the backstabber damage carrying me. Later, explode! Load and let's go down. What if by some miracle I get another quality 4 mega devil item and I feel somewhat redeemed for not being able to take that brimstone from earlier? Oh, right, I got chaos moment. Ooh, sacred heart. I don't really know how much HP I have. <laughs> I, uh, I, 
Uh, I, please don't die. That would be so pathetic. Okay, I guess we'll be okay. I know I got a lot of HP, but the exact amount is still kind of unknown to me. And that is the reason we say purity. So let's just remind ourselves that we can do that real quick. Worm friend and a little bit of blusty gust. Seeing those two items together, I don't know about you, but they feel somewhat related. Uh, that's just the vibe I get. They look kind of similar. I don't know if it's just me. They kind of look like they would just, I don't know, hang out with each other in some uh, game room or something. Playing foosball. The absolute absolute greatest game ever created. God, I love foosball. <laughs> I think we lock in this mark and we are good to go. I just got a mental awakening. I have no reason for this to happen. I don't know how to explain it, but have you guys ever watched We're Back, A Dinosaur Story? That movie did permanent mental damage to me. I love that movie. There's no reason for it to show up in my brain right now, but it just did. I very much remember the singing dinosaur that rode on a car. He was very epic. I love that guy. My my marks are done nice more progression in i'm feeling great man thank you so much for the support here's to infinity percent we are almost there gg